Hi guys, I did a pop pop boat last night and it works but it's almost silent so I'm going to try and make one that's a bit noisier. What I've got here is a tin that we've just opened for our beans, our baked beans. So top's already cut off. And the bottom, I'm just using a junior hacksaw and cutting all the way around here so I can get this bottom section off. And then I'm going to solder the bottom to the top like that. So we've got a much smaller boiler area and maybe a bit of flexibility. We'll find out when I've got it all soldered together. So what we'll have here is a much thinner boiler with a, quite a large surface area. The only thing I've just realised is I meant to put those further apart. I drilled those a bit close together. Never mind, that's what it'll have to be. I've pre-annealed these, heated them up. I'm going to put them in and then bend them to suit. So, I'm just going to bend them back at an angle this time. And I've also cleaned round the edges here. So I have to put some flux on. And I still can't find my proper plumber's solder, so I'm going to have to buy some more of this. Nearly run out. Electrical solder, not the right stuff. I'm annoyed with myself now because I got those measurements wrong. But I think we'll be okay. Just means the flame's going to be closer to them than I meant it to be. Yeah, we've got a good seal. Because I pre-annealed these, I should be able to bend them just over my thumb. And 
see like goes under here. Like I said, I put those holes in the wrong place. I should have put them further back. But never mind, that's what I've done. So we'll have to live with it. This time, I've put the motor, or the steam engine, pop pop motor, in a plastic toy boat. I've just hot glued it in place. And I'm gonna use this tea light that I've modified. It's actually got three wicks in it. So we should get extra heat. So the first thing we need to do is squirt some water in the tube. So I'm gonna use this. Uh, my camera always has trouble filming over the bath and the focus quite often drifts. So that's why I've put lots of things in there to try and keep the, <laughs> and it's just gone straight away, to try and keep the focus right. I think I'm gonna to have to take the camera off the tripod. All right, we've got two tea lights in there now. Well, it certainly is going round in circles like I hoped. I was hoping it'd be noisier. metal I've used is actually quite thick so I'm not really surprised it's not making a good noise. I went out for a walk along the local lanes and looked at all the cans that have been discarded by people who throw their drinks away when they've been walking along which unfortunately is quite common and they were all aluminium there weren't any tin cans at all so we had to use a baked beans tin in the end. Which is much thicker. So I've got two tea lights under there to give us the heat. You can see the water being jetted out the back. Is that a word? Jetted?
Well, I'm going to class that as a success, even though it's not as loud as I hoped. Yeah, that'll do. That works. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.